Let's open the packaging and see what's in it. This is a manual. We can use the host by manual. This is our hero, alarm host. It looks very nice. This is a cable external speaker. He can magnify the voice. This is a door magnetic detector. We can put it to the doors and windows. The little one is RFID card by triggering induction area for clause of alarm. This is the remote control. You can control the alarm. It's an infrared sensor that triggers when you walk in front of him. Here's the charging device. Oh, and a pack of screws for securing the alarm. There's also a fixed infrared sensor bracket. And that's everything in the box. Next, we enable the device. This round button is the switch button. This hole is for wired speakers. This is the charging port. Now we power up the alarm. Long press the power button. The screen will light up. Very beautiful interface. This is the armed display area. You can check whether the equipment is in the armed state. This is the alarm status display area. You can check whether the equipment is alarming. And you can check the alarm record. This is the dial area. You can make calls to the outside world, but you need to insert your card to use this function. This is the dial area. You can make calls to the outside world, but you need to insert your card to use this function. This is the left behind armed button. If you still need the alarm host to work when you are at home, you can press it. This is the disarm button. This is the main menu in which you can set the alarm host. This is the control area of the smart switch. Let's go to the main menu and see what they have. Enter system settings. Enter delay settings. This is exit delay. This is entry delay. This is alarm. Ring time. We can manually adjust the time. Click on function settings. This is the armed sound settings. This is the alarm tone. He can control the alarm host when the alarm sound. This is armed SMS. When you are armed to the alarm host, he can send SMS alerts to your mobile phone, but to insert the card to use. This is the key lock. Its function is to enter the password to use the alarm host. This is the backlight of the keyboard, and the screen will go off after 30 seconds without any action. This is the button sound control. This is a time lapse sound. This is the open door warning. It is used when your doors and windows are not closed. The screen will tell you. This is the voice cue. To show you the effect of the lock screen, after opening the keyboard lock function, you need to enter a password to use the host. Next is the password setting. This is the system password. Text message control alarm host will use it and unlock the alarm host can also enter the system password. This is the user password can be used to unlock the alarm host SMS control alarm host armed and disarming also need to use the user password. This is the language setting which can change the system language of the alarm and he has 10 languages including Chinese, English, German, Russian, Spanish, Polish, Italian, French, Portuguese, Greek. This is the reset key of the alarm host. Please do not press it freely. This is the number setting. A total of five groups of numbers can be set. When the alarm host alarm, he will call and send text messages to each number. We can also set only one of the functions tells SMS or phone. This is a record query. Click in we can view the alarm records and armed records. Alarm records can be saved 50. Armed records can save 20. Enter the accessories management. This is the remote control management. We can add a new remote control. Enter the accessories management. This is the remote control management. We can add a new remote control. This is the RFID card management. When we swipe the card in the right position, he is in the position of the alarm RFID display. Just need to put the card close to there. This is the management bar of the alarm linkage socket, provided that you have a smart switch. This is the smart socket timing setting. This is a code reader that can receive an externally transmitted wireless data code, provided for the data code in the 1527433 frequency band. Next is the Wi-Fi settings. Here are one-click configuration 
Unbound, Wi-Fi address, hotspot configuration, and I will teach you how to use it later. This is the recording function. Its function is to hear the voice recorded in advance when the alarm host gives an alarm. This is the clock setting that can set timing, armed and timing disarming, as well as change time. This is the version display bar of the alarm host, and you can view the version and basic information of the alarm host. Next, see how the detector works. Press the armed key of the remote control. The screen will display armed. Trigger the infrared. Detector alarm will alarm. Sound and push notification. The screen will display alarm information. Let you know where the alarm. After the alarm host gives the alarm, press the unlock button of the remote control to make the alarm host stop the alarm. The door magnet is triggered before the alarm host is not armed, and the screen will prompt you that your doors and windows are not related. After the alarm host is armed, the door magnet is triggered, and the alarm will cause an alarm and remind you that someone will invade your room. The RFID is used to disarm and disarm your host. Let me next tell you what to do if the trigger accessory doesn't work, just like in the video, the trigger per detector doesn't work, and it's possible that your detector doesn't match the alarm. Open the main menu, click accessories, click remote control, click add, in the alarm host arch seconds countdown, quickly press the armed key of the remote control, the screen will show learning success, then your remote control can be used normally. Door magnetic detector how to connect the alarm host. Open the main menu. Open the accessories. Click the detector. Choose to add. The name of the area defense can choose the main door alarm. Click to confirm. In the 20 seconds countdown, the door magnetic from closed to open. The screen display learning success can be. The connection mode of the infrared detector and the alarm host is the same as the above, but the name of the defense area can choose the system alarm. The number is set to R. When other accessories are paired, the number is arranged down in turn. After the alarm host counts for 20 seconds, you need to block the infrared detection area and the red light flashes. You can learn successfully. Finally, pair the RFID card. Select the main menu. Select the accessories. Select the RFID option and touch the RFID card in the induction area. After matching the accessories, let us return to the main interface and then conduct a simple inspection to see if our accessories can trigger the alarm. Shortcut to add devices, download and open Intelligent Life app, open mobile phone Bluetooth, click to add app automatic search device, choose to add devices, check whether Wi-Fi account password is correct, choose the next step, to add devices automatically, simple app operation alarm host to CI shortcut to add devices, download and open Intelligent Life app, open mobile phone Bluetooth, click to add app automatic search device, Choose to add devices. Check whether Wi-Fi account password is correct. Choose the next step. To add devices automatically. Simple app operation alarm host to see automatically. Simple app operation alarm host to see if it is normal. Check whether there is a push notification. Manual operation mode, turn off Bluetooth, enter app, select add, 
Select sensor. Select sensor Wi-Fi. Check the correctness of Wi-Fi. 二点四 GHZ and password. Select the next step. Select flash mob. Operation alarm host. Select the main menu. Select Wi-Fi setting. Select one button configuration. Whether the simple operation of app is normal after successful pairing. We can realize all the functions on the host through the app, including setting Wu Feng numbers, matching detectors, etc. And we can also name the detector. The next step is to operate the host through the phone card. You need a phone card. After the correct insertion of the card, you need to restart the alarm host. Wait for about a minute to refresh the signal. Set the phone number. A simple operation. Whether you can control the host through SMS and P. The next step is to operate the host through the phone card. You need a phone card. After the correct insertion of the card, you need to restart the alarm host. Wait for about a minute to refresh the signal. Set the phone number. A simple operation. Whether you can control the host through SMS and P. Whether you can control the host through SMS and phone. Finally, there's the external speaker of the host, and if you think it's not loud enough, you can plug it in. 